guys. Dylan here. Kind of a different kind of video today, but I'd like to show you my uh, Venus flytrap. Um, hopefully I can catch a, a video of it actually feeding. We got this trap here closed. It's feeding on an ant right now. And there's an ant right inside there. And the plant will take in all the nutrients from the insect and then uh, release the exoskeleton that it can't use. And a quick update, quick little look at my Venus flytrap. It's such a cool uh, plant, very cool species. And this is a tinier one. In the past I've kept much larger ones, but this is uh, fairly new. I just picked it up about a week or so ago. And I'm going to try my luck at it um, this summer, this spring. In the past I've been able to keep them um, for a little length of time. Um, the winter dormancy period is usually when I, I have the, the most trouble is uh, getting them to come back to, to life in the spring. But we're gonna we're gonna try this one for this uh, spring and summertime and see what happens. Pretty healthy plant, very cool plant. Uh, it's a time of year where a lot of flies and ants and such things are around in the house. So it's cool uh, to have something like this. It'll easily be fed. And uh, they're actually native to America. The Venus flytrap comes from uh, North Carolina, living in uh, you know boggy, swampy type regions. You see how I have it kind of almost immersed in the water. And uh, what it's potted in is is mostly you know sphagnum and peat. Really moist substrate for uh, the Venus flytrap. Like I said, they, they grow in bogs. But yeah, he's a tiny little guy. And a quick little video. Here's the fish room during the day. I don't often show it during the day because of the reflection. Well, a quick little look at the green room. And the Venus flytrap. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully I can uh, show you a video of this uh, plant actually feeding. And you can see them close up. Well, I guess I can actually stimulate it closing up if, if, if I wanted to. I guess I can show you that. It has sensors on the inside, so when it feels an insect, let's see if we can do it. And there it goes. Unfortunately, it closed it up, used that energy to close up, but is not rewarded by any uh, bug, unfortunately. Just camera time. But again, thanks for checking out the flytrap, guys. I often like to do different videos this time of year. Springtime, lots of stuff going on. The garden is in full effect. And I guess I'll show you that real quick. Oh, you can't see too much, but the garden is in full effect. And I'll get you guys out there and I'll show you what's going on. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Y'all have a good one.